Hi, I'm Tony, and today we're running through Sports Bike Shop's most popular sports touring helmets. Now, by that I mean sporty full-face helmets with an internal sun visor. There's nothing here with a peak, and there are no flip helmets either. These are the best sports touring helmets regardless of price. If you're on a tighter budget, we've got a video coming soon for helmets under £200. And if that's ready by the time you watch this, there's a link popping up on screen now. The lids in this video made the cut mostly on customer review scores, but also based on what we've discovered from our own in-house reviews. If we have a detailed review on any of these individual helmets, you'll see links popping up on screen as we go through, and they're also in the description below. Okay, enough of this, let's get into the helmets. With 14 customer reviews on the board, the Shark Spartan RS has a perfect record of 14 five-star ratings. Riders love the build quality, the plush comfort lining with its velvety feel and easy operation of the sun visor. If there's a common grumble, then it's needing to get used to pushing a button under the visor's central release tab to release the lock. Spectacle wearers say this helmet makes life easy for them, and I found the same when I wore my specs inside a Spartan RS. It's easy to fit your choice of intercom as well, though the recesses inside are a bit small for cardo speakers that are 40 millimeters or larger in diameter. Sizes for this helmet range from extra small to double extra large, and there are two shell sizes. The Spartan RS has a list price of 290 pounds in plain colors and 320 pounds for graphics. The Scorpion XO1400 Carbon Air Series has been popular for years. This XO1400 Evo 2 Carbon is brand new and has no customer reviews yet, but it's virtually identical to the outgoing XO1400 Evo. Scorpions say a revised spoiler improves the aerodynamics, otherwise it's the same as its predecessor, and that has an average rating of 4.8 from the first 18 customer reviews. Those riders are very happy with the lightweight, the low noise levels, the cool looks, and the ease of fitting any off-the-shelf intercom. They also like the air fit system, which inflates small pockets inside the helmet to tighten the fit around the cheeks. I got my specs in this helmet as well with no drama at all. The only repeat criticism from customers surrounds a shallow sun visor. The helmet comes with a tinted visor in the box in addition to the clear one that's fitted to the lid as well. Sizes are extra small to double XL with three shell sizes to cover that range. This medium is light. We weighed it at 1430 grams and the list price for this helmet is 350 pounds. The Shark Squall i3 is the light-up helmet with LEDs at the front and also at the back. This is a lot more serious than previous Squalls. The lights are brighter, the visor's stronger, the sun visor's now anti-fog coated, and overall I'd say build quality is higher. The lights also now include a red brake light, which senses when you're braking through a built-in decelerometer. Customers like their Squall i3s a lot, giving an average rating of 4.8 from the first 23 reviews. They love the lights, and they're very confident that they now stand out better on the road for having those lights there. Some think the lid is a bit noisy, and the accommodation for intercoms a bit lacking as well, in the opinion of other riders. I think most intercoms will work with this helmet, but you might struggle to fit larger speakers and also chunkier control modules on the side. The Squall i3 comes in sizes from extra small to double extra large in two shell sizes. Our size medium weighs 1,642 grams, and the list price is 260 pounds for plain colors and 290 pounds for graphics. Now, if we did this video strictly on customer ratings, Shoei's GTR 3 would not be in this list. One of the 14 customer reviewers gave a one-star rating, which drags the average rating down to 4.5. That score is down to the chin strap being too short for that rider. So if you need a very long strap, the GTR 3 might not be ideal. Not that I had any problem with the strap length myself. Otherwise, customer feedback's great. And if we put that one-star review to one side, the average rating would be 4.85. Build quality is typically classy for showy and it's a step up from the GTR 2 in terms of visor seal, giving a better first step of visor opening and better noise resistance around the sun visor switch. The strap is narrower and the micrometric buckle fastener for that is smaller as well. It's a bit tricky, but it's not impossible to fit an intercom other than Shoei's official SRL3 system. Sizes for this helmet go from extra small to 2XL with three shell sizes. Our size medium weighs in at 1,665 grams, and the list price ranges from 530 pounds to 640 pounds.
This AGV K3 is AGV's most popular sports touring helmet and it's rated very highly by customers, especially for value. If you go for a plain colour, this K3 is less than 200 quid, which means this helmet's also in our guide to the best budget sports touring helmets. It's got a plastic shell, but at 1,533 grams, it's not heavy and customers like the quality feel from this helmet. They also like the ease of the micrometric strap fastener. When I reviewed this helmet, I found the venting was a bit lacking and I thought the sun visor missed it up too easily. Also struggled a bit with fitting a communication system to it. There's more on that if you follow the link to my full review. But the most important people are the actual customers and they're more impressed. After 35 customer reviews, the K3 is running an average rating of 4.8. Of those who find fault, the most common complaints surrounded noise, but otherwise the feedback is almost all positive. The AGV comes in sizes from extra small to 2XL in three shell sizes. The list price ranges from £180 to £230. Okay, so there they are, sports touring helmets that cover everything from under £200 to over £600. Quid. Now, if you're wondering where helmets like the Shoei NXR2 and the Arai Quantic are, because they don't have internal sun visors, we're giving them their own video sports helmets. Now, the helmet that's best for you will depend on your personal circumstances and also on what fits you well. Now, I'd say that's the most important factor of all with helmets, fit. A helmet that fits you properly will be better in every respect than one that doesn't, so try on as many as you can before making a final decision on what's right for you. Whether you go for one of these five helmets, whether you go for something from our video on the best lids for under 200 quid, or if you go for something completely different, I hope you find the right one for you. Thanks for watching.